It would be a massive understatement to say Clemson has gotten off to a terribly disappointing start this fall. The Tigers lost two games in the month of September, something very few have pegged in their preseason predictions. Coming off a of bye week now, the Tigers are staring down the challenge of a Friday night road trip up north to battle ACC foe C. Rackus. Clemson was off last week following a hard-fought 19-13 win against Boston College on September 25th that left the Tigers in much need of some time to heal. The injuries have been piling up through the first weeks of the season, but by the end of the game against the Eagles, the preseason ACC favorites were without 16 players from the preseason depth chart. A few of those players could be back on Friday, but a majority won't because of long-term injury or departure from the team. After a week to regroup from the chaotic start, the Tigers team that takes the field on Friday night will be far from what we expected in July but closer to what we'll see in November when it comes time to hand out bids for the ACC championship game. The Orange have played Clemson close in their short time as ACC Atlantic Division rivals and hope that competitiveness leads to a breakthrough win for the 2021 team in front of the home crowd and a national television audience. Both teams are well adjusted to close games, the Orange are not the only team in this matchup that has been caught in some nail biters. While Syracuse has been on the losing end of last second field goals in its last two outings, basically every has been a dogfight for Clemson. Much of how that's played out in 2021 is due to Clemson both having offensive struggles and still having one of the better defenses in the country, leading to a lot of close, low-scoring games on a weekly basis. Syracuse has an emerging star in Shaw and Tucker, while Syracuse at times under Dino Babers has relied on a wide-open passing attack. The 2021 Orange have found lots of success with a ground game powered by freshman running back Shaw and Tucker. Entering Friday's game. Tucker is leading the nation in all-purpose yards with 165.83 yards per game, 